Boys and girls, buy level land. It's worth the extra money. We bought five acres on the side of a mountain, and we're turning it into the ultimate weekend getaway. Follow along as I build my first off-grid sauna. The goal is to build an authentic Finnish sauna, so it will be wood-fired and get really hot. It's going to feel great on those cold winter nights and be nothing like those lukewarm hotel saunas. All right, so the project at hand today is to knock down this tree that's hanging on. It is blocking me from building a trail under it. It's it's super sketchy. We uh, harvested the lower two sections of this tree, so this is just the upper section. And I can't believe it hasn't fallen over winter. I mean, it's just hanging on by like a few of these little limbs of this little cedar tree. We have enough travel here, it doesn't seem like we do. <laughs> All right, hope you captured that. I was looking down, I just heard it. Success. It's still like, not on the ground, but you can deal with that. Now I'm gonna do the upper siding. So I just added this, that brown strip is Z flashing. It looks like this. So this little focus, this little notch here goes over the Paneling. Whoo, at least that's done. This is a pain in the ass, man. Next, next time I'll uh, hopefully remember what to not to do. Boys and girls, buy level land. It's worth the extra money. This is super sketchy. This doesn't even do it justice. How sketchy working on this side is. I just made some like condor one-handed cut with my smashed finger and it turned out pretty well and I got one more to do. It's hard to film. Man, that was a pain. I can see why I was avoiding that first. All right, next time I'm buying longer sheets and actually kind of having a plan. That's probably when you build a building every 13 years. You know, basically you don't, I have no experience basically because I had forgotten everything. And then the one down there, we did um, different kind of upper siding and I think went into it with more of a plan because it was, the cabin came with plans. Plans, not really, it was like, one sheet to how to frame each wall, and that was it. Um, yeah, so anyway, now I'm excited to get paint on. I'm painting it uh, black, which is the color is called Midnight Black, or maybe it's called Black Magic. Um, anyway, it'll be cool, it'll be black, and then the trim will be like natural cedar color. I'll, I'll put a picture here of what I want it to look like. And then this door, I got a free, um, frosty glass door, but it's an interior door. So, I don't know, it, it'd be perfect. It's free, but it doesn't have any of the weather seals. So like, honestly, I'm, I'm a cheapskate, but I think I'm gonna go buy a weather sealed exterior Home Depot door and then um, glue cedar on it to, to give it a, a better look. Um, so that way, there's not gonna be chipmunks in this building, right? Because otherwise, there, there could be, there will be. There's a chipmunk in the outhouse down there now. Um, and that's just a really a pain in the ass. It's probably better to spend the money now and not be a cheapskate.
vein. You see it's uh, pretty thick. And it was, a, it was affordable. There's our uh, throwing target. Thing's been up for 12 years. Still hanging on that, uh, <laughs> that tie down. I can't believe it survived in the sun that long. Uh, it'll, it'll fall one of these days. But yeah, lasted, lasted plenty. So I'm going to find the solar shower bag that was in the sun and take a shower. It, uh, if you time it right, you can get a nice hot shower, but, uh, mm, yeah, it's storm. All right, I'm gonna take it back to the deck. There we go. Perfect. Well, good thing I have no neighbors. All right, I'm pumped. The sauna looks better than ever. Got a ton done in like 24 hours. So it is black magic colored, painted it. The roller was really quick, but that all the grooves took a while. And then I'd be on a ladder for all the upper parts. And then the siding, the upper siding took forever. So that'll get the dome there. So glad that whole side's done, except for the window. Ow. And I got that window in. Pumped on that, it's flashed. Well, the sill is, but it's still got oh, these shims hanging out. Kind of a mess, but that's a, it's attached. It's level. So we'll uh, cut those shims off and foam it in. If you don't, guys don't know, this is a eight by 12 shed. The shed it's, it's a shed at this point, but it'll have a um, half of it will be cut in half. So half will be a sauna, six by eight, and then six by eight will be kind of a, they call it a warming room, um, changing room, shower, probably eventually shower. You'll enter into the warming room and there'll be a door here, a wall for the sauna. So that, this area will be super hot, super well insulated. This area will be um, heated by the sauna basically, or or uh, not not heated if the sauna's not on. This will be a wood-fired hot tub right here. The whole point of this was to make a wood fire, a deck for a wood-fired hot tub, and then it just spun out of control with the building here. Um, so let's go. I'm going to turn off the water as well. Alright, so there's... I gotta paint. What do you guys think? I should paint the fascia black? Or should I like stain it? It's just, it's just two by lumber. It's not anything fancy. I was thinking about painting it black and then on the corners, like the actual trim, it's gonna be like um, stained cedar, like wood colored. Made this deck so you can sit on this deck and the rain will just go right over you. So, should be pretty dry, because it rains a lot here, right? We're um, near the Olympic National Rainforest in Washington State and that's an actual rainforest. Mostly this weekend was just about chilling out, but since I had some manpower, I uh, got some help getting the hot tub up this really steep hill. We used a rope come along. I'll show you some clips on that. Um, it got a little damage though. The liner got a little tweaked, so I'll have to glue it back, but um, it's here in place. It's all good. I'm stoked. Just put a tarp over it, keep the uh, leaves out.
All right, you guys get, go slow, go slow. Dude, the outside of the tarp's getting shredded. Just how it's gonna be, I guess. Yeah, it's totally, the tarp's in there. It can't be like replaced without taking everything out and reed silicone and everything. Yeah, let's do that. This is me and Brian in the hot tub drinking a beer. Whew. Maybe not full of water, but a little bit just for it. You just pull us up. <laughs> And then a bonus, I thought it was just gonna be a hot tub today. Bonus, we got the dome window in. So this thing's sweet. It's uh, about 50 inches in diameter and it sticks out about a foot so I can stick the head out so far. <laughs> I'm fully enclosed in the building. This is awesome, man. It's way cooler than I thought. This is that um, dome we had from the year. Well, I think you guys saw the window. I need to foam that in. And if you listen, it just started raining. We're all packed up. So you can see the dome there. And uh, just because we had it, you know, hey, why not, why not make this building a little creative? And so, you know, we're just kind of building off uh, napkin sketches and whatever. I think it looks good. Might do some kind of trim, but actually it looks a lot better than I thought. It seals tight. Like only, I think I'll put some black, I'll put some stainless, eight stainless screws with uh, some stainless washers. There's just, the only gaps in the top are probably these grooves. So I'll just probably put some black caulk around the top half of it. See how it goes. I mean, it's got a, it's got a foot overhang above it, but it gets wet. I mean, we came in yesterday and there was wet there was water all inside, so I'm glad I got a chance to paint the edges inside here. Uh, so, yeah, stoked. It has a few scratches on it because uh, somebody might have decided to go sledding down the hill on it, but uh, hey, it's been the shed for 10 years, so why not use it, right? All right, well, that's the update for now, guys. So I'm gonna keep plugging in, plugging away on this project. You know, it's September 24th. My goal is to get this sealed in before fall, which is really hair right now. It rains the next week, it's gonna rain all week. So I'm gonna get a door window over there and then seal that window in, which is not flashed or, or anything. Uh, that will be good. All right, cheers. Hope we're having a good one. Bye-bye.